What's up guys, it's Debbie and I'm back with another video. Let me just restart because I'm fucking up in all areas. Let me go back. What's up guys, it's Debbie and I'm back with another video. Girl, you know what's good. Nah, today we're going to be talking about um, how to sell feet pics. Um, recently I've had a lot of girls talking to me about it and asking me like how did I get into it, what kind of money have I made, and how did I find people to buy my feet pics. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I'm going to try to cover as much as I possibly can, as much as I can remember. I've wrote a few things down um, in my notebook to try to help me stay on track and make sure that I don't leave important things out. Um, but I have thought of stuff after writing things down, so hopefully I'll try to remember everything and make sure that this is a very in-depth and educating video for all of you guys. As always, I'm about to light my blunt, so... Grab yours for the video and we will light up. The petties for your feet or is it manny's? I don't remember. Whatever it is for your feet. That's terrible, y'all. Like, that shows you how long it's been since I had my nails done. Like... Yeah, so just make sure that you keep your toes done, keep your toes painted, nice pretty color. You don't have to put colors on it. Um, you can put like a clear coat, but majority of people will actually ask you for specific colors. Red is very popular, blue is very popular, pink is popular, and white is what I've noticed. Um, those are the colors that I've been asked for the most, I feel like. Now... When you get into selling your feet pics, you have to go in knowing your boundary and how far you want to go with this because you will have a lot of guys that will start off, it'll just be a foot thing, but then they'll try to slowly progress it into more, um, I'm not going to say degrading because some people do these kinds of things as a living, so I'm not going to like down anybody's hustle. Um, but it's just not something I want to do personally. I just did it for my feet and that's it. Um, but you just have to, I mean, everybody's different. You do what you want to do. If you want to go the whole nine yards and make your bank girl, get that bag. Like, do you, sis? Ain't nobody judging. But, um, for me personally, it just wasn't for me. Um, I just do my feet pics. But just know going in there that you will have a lot of weirdos, um, I mean, they're buying pictures of your feet after all, but just know going in that you will have a lot of weirdos that, um, they're just going to ask you for some weird shit. I've had people ask me for pee videos. Um, I think that was the weirdest one, <laughs> but, um, I mean, just weird things. People will ask you for weird things, so just mentally prepare yourself for that if that is something that you want to do and if that's not something you want to do make sure that you stick to that don't ever let anyone make you feel like you need to do anything to get money from them because you don't so now that you know this is what you want to do you got your feet nice and pretty you have your boundaries set and you're ready to begin the number one thing is hashtags. I can't stress this enough because to be honest, it's hard to go out and find people with fetishes for specific things, especially feet, because a lot of people aren't very open about that until they meet or like comfortable with a person. So um, what I did was I used hashtags um, for feet. And just be aware when you do this, although your page will give a lot of exposure, you'll get a lot of scammers commenting on your um, post. So you just have to kind of have common sense and know what is a legitimate deal and what is not. So that is another thing. You have to be careful of scammers. 
Um, but I use hashtags like I sell feet pics or custom feet pics, custom feet videos, um, foot fetish, um, pretty feet, girls with pretty feet, things like that. Anything involving like feet in it, but make sure that it's relevant to the picture. Also, you can't copy and paste your hashtags every single post because you'll get less exposure. Um, so make sure that you kind of change it up. Um, you can use the same category of hashtags. So you can use feet in every um, picture, but don't use the exact same hashtag in every picture. Um, so what I would do for my pictures is I would post the picture, put the caption, and then I would put like little emojis to like drag the description down. And then I would put all the hashtags at the bottom of the picture. If I did it that way because I didn't want people like going on my pictures and every single picture was like hashtag feet, hashtag feet, hashtag feet, hashtag feet. And I didn't want to lose other followers because of that. So um, that's why I did it that way. So it was kind of like down out of sight. You had to actually click on like more info to actually see it. But for people who are actually searching the hashtags, they'll find my posts um, in the hashtags, whether it's like first line of my caption or not. Um, so that was one thing I did. And then I actually, that's where you're going to build most of your people. You kind of have to just post good pictures and hashtag it and then people will come to you. Um, you can also do it this way, but this way is a little bit harder finding people. I think I only found like three or four actual buyers from doing this. Um, but you can search for feet, uh, for feet buying profiles. You can search things like feet king or like I buy feet pics. Some people name their profiles that stuff to like help people find them. Um, like pretty feet only, like things like that. Um, some pages do nothing but post feet and they'll actually uh, pay you to get your pictures so they can post them on their pages. Um, when you do this, make sure you are always checking your DMs. What I did is because Instagram now, I do all my business through Instagram. Um, because Instagram now has a primary and a general um, inbox, I moved all of my feet pics into general. And then I left everything else in the primary. That way, the general, I would always have a notification whether I read it or not for my feet pick buyers. That way, I wouldn't forget about them and I would always see that little um, reminder that I needed to answer them or whatever. Um, if you, most of them are pretty patient um, as long as you're keeping in touch with them. But a lot of them, when they hit you up, they want it then at that time. Um, so that takes me into uh, one of my other points, which is make sure that you already have pictures and videos on hand of your feet. Um, take some toe pics, take full foot pics, take pictures of your soles, take pictures, um, like take videos taking your socks off, take videos of you trying different shoes on um those are all like very very popular things that people are going to ask you for and if you already have them recorded and in your camera roll then that's basically free money to you you can be at work having a free break or something messaging these people and sending them these pictures that you've already taken and just racking up money like doing whatever you're doing already throughout your day um so that's like one way to make this not like a job like if you're taking these requests or whatever and then you're just doing it right when you're asked when they're asking you for it then it's just going to be harder on you and you're going to be like i don't like doing this if you already have everything like videos like the most common things people are going to typically ask you for then it's going to make your life a lot easier and you're going to actually be able to like take more customers at a time and like racking money way faster um 
So yeah, always make sure you're checking your DMs and responding. <coughs> like girls take pictures for their OnlyFans and it will be like a sexy picture, basically like giving you a little sneak peek of what you get if you sign up. Do that. Take like a cute picture of your foot, but don't show your soles because people with feet fetishes, they want to see your toes, you like flexing and pointing your feet, um, um, you like wrapping your toes like in one another, um, like the soles of your feet, I think I already said that. So don't post anything like that. Like you can take like just cute pictures of like your feet, like your toes done. Like you know how you would when you get your nails and your toes done and you like hold your little foot like that and you take your little picture. Um, you can like post pictures like that, like on your social media and like let people know, like post it on your story, be like, yeah, I'm selling feet pics. Like inbox me if you're interested. Like that's a discreet way for you to let people know that you already know that don't want to be like loud about their fetish. Um, Cause you never know who you know that already has a foot fetish girl. Cause let me tell you, <laughs> but post it and advertise that you're selling feet pics and um, yeah, like, people, your friends and, like, guys that you've previously talked to or whatever, like, legit might buy your feet pics. You have no idea. So, if you're comfortable with, like, people you know knowing that you sell feet pics, which is pictures of your feet, I don't know why you wouldn't, but, I mean, it is kind of weird, I guess. Um, but if that's something you're comfortable with, yeah, like, take little, like, preview pictures or whatever and, like, post it on your story. Um, post it on your social media. Like, let people know that's what you're doing post like specials like you're doing a special like this amount of feet pics for this amount of money or like this long of a custom video for this amount of money like etc so um that brings me into the next thing if you do if you're going to do custom content which you should because that's where the money's at but that's where the weirdos start rolling in and it's like yeah it's about your feet but they'll start involving other things as well um so if you do co custom content make sure that those are like the hashtags that you're using because you'll get way more custom content buyers than you will just standard generic feet pictures because if we're honest, anyone can find pictures of people's feet. They don't have to pay for them. You, people will look at your pictures and see like your feet in heels and sandals and things like that. And they will like have a personal fetish for your feet, if that makes sense. And that's what makes them want to buy pictures from you. It's like, I don't know if that makes sense, but you know. Yeah, if you're doing custom content, make sure that you advertise that because that's where your money is going to be at. Um, custom content can be something as simple as painting your toes a different color. When you are taking these pictures of your feet and stuff for you to have, take your time with it. Make sure you have good lighting. Make sure you have a good background. Like, people don't just, like, want a regular-ass foot picture. Like, they want like a selfie of your foot like when you take a selfie you want good lighting you want your makeup to be looking good you want your face to look good like paint your toes girl shape your toenails like make sure you do all that like put some lotion on them put a little anklet on like put some toe rings on like accessorize that and make it look cute because that is what turns them on like And with that being said, another thing is um, when you're posting your pictures, like your personal pictures on your Instagram, like with your outfits and stuff, like put sandals or like heels or slides, like open toe shoes on so they can see like that turns them on to like pictures and heels and things like that because of the way it arches your foot and they can see your toe. And they can see your toes, so... 
um yeah i think that's all um if you do this stuff and you stay consistent i promise you you will get customers and you will make your money it may not happen in the next five minutes but i promise you if you stay consistent for like three days you're already going to have customers rolling in the money might be kind of slow at first like you might just be making like a five dollar sale here and a five dollar sale there but the more that you do it the more customers you get and the better your content is the more people are going to keep buying from you you'll have return customers and then you'll build a reputation for yourself um not like like that but you know like you're going to have customers that are going to come to you for content and um yeah you'll people will start paying you more um you'll have more people coming in so like more people and smaller sales that money starts adding up quick like especially if you're at work or something like I was saying earlier like somebody could hit you up for like hey like I need like 20 feet pics and you have those 20 do 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 your five dollars a pick or whatever and like that's hella money in your pocket and you didn't have to do shit except click some buttons that you was already gonna click on your phone anyways and send so um but yeah all right i really think that's it um if you guys think i left anything out or if there's something that you guys want me to talk about um comment down below and i will do that for y'all also give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and also subscribe uh, subscribe to my channel and also thank you guys so much for getting my last hookah video up to 500 views and i hope that this video will do just as good so thank you guys so much for continuing to support my channel and i will see you guys in my next video peace out